This is a 1.6 Citroen turbo diesel engine. The same engine is used in a lot of different cars. Ford use it. Uh, what I'm going to do is change the oil filter like an engine service. These engines thrive on clean oil. The oil has a miserable life. It's got a little turbocharger on here, which is really good at boiling and destroying oil. I would certainly recommend an oil change at least once a year or 10,000 miles. And you must use the correct oil, the C3, spec oil, full synthetic, good grade of oil. The engine's nice and warm. I've had it running for the last 25 minutes. Take the oil filler off first. The oil filter on these engines is an element type. It lives in behind this air inlet pipe. That's it down there. It's a plastic housing with a paper filter inside. 27mm socket fits it. That's a filter there. That's quite an important little feature. I'll show you that when we come to be installing a new filter. It is possible to get this wrong. The only filter simply prides out of the towel. Let's discard it. There's a rubber seal on here. You always replace the seal, never chance leaving the oil seal in. Wash the filter housing out with a little bit of solvent. It's important to use a good oil filter. There are lots of cheap ones about, but it's false economy once again using a cheap oil filter. You were in something. Out of there. A little bit of oil. When we put the, the filter in the housing, it's important you locate that little spigot there. And the filter has actually quite a tight fit on there, and I have seen them when you screw that in, that they can snap that bit off. So all I do, I put a little bit of oil on, on there, and just gently open it up, just to give it a little bit of... That's all it takes, it means it'll go slide nicely onto there. That's where the oil filter goes, and there's a little hole in the bottom there. A little hole where the spigot ends up. You put the filter in, turn it, and you can feel a little, a little tit on the filter, and that goes in like that. And that filter's in place. You show your oil rings correctly positioned, which it is. These are a little bit fiddly, but they're a lot easier than some. There's a lot worse than these. Make sure it's starting your, your fingers. You can feel it going on nice and smooth. When it stops, just a small nip, that's all it takes. It's like worrying it's sealing it. Once again, a little bit of solvent. Just to show that we care what we're doing.
this is a drain plug, 21 mil. You quite often find in some garages you use a sucking device and a sucky oil or the dipstick wheel which saves the on that and saves the move on that tray. But honestly you don't always get all the oil out. This is the, the best way to do it. You know, it's black and dirty, it always is on diesels. You see how thin it is, having the temperature up, it's make sure you get it all out. The sump plug has a copper washer on, make sure the washer's in good condition or replace it. Quite often these stick onto the sump and they can fall off, and if you're not careful, you put the plug back in the new washer and it'll leak. the plug in and tighten it straight away. You never get to this stage and walk away no matter what happens. Make sure you tighten it. It doesn't need to be ridiculously tight if you that's all it takes. And once again a little bit of solvent just take the oil off. The small amount of oil that we lost moving the filter ah, it's just washed off. Nothing worse than having your car in or a service that comes back and it's dripping oil out. important the correct oil is used. This is 530 C3 full synthetic low ash oil designed specifically for modern high speed diesels fitted with uh, DPF filters. But keep oil in as far as it's following me. It's no good saying I change it more often. You need good quality oil. Oil is cheap compared to turbo chargers and engines. Okay, so the filter's on, we've got some oil in the engine, I'm going to start it up. You don't run the engine when you're starting it, just let it idle it until the oil pressure comes up. And the first thing you check is the filter, just to make sure there's nothing leaking. Take pipe goes back in, locked into place. That's it. It's important you don't put too much oil in. It's up to there midway, so probably another half a litre to bring that up to full. Wants to be just below the maximum mark. Too much oil is as bad as too little. A touch more. I know these cars do hold four litres, and that's exactly what I put in four litres. I mean, that's perfect. 
just below the just below the maximum mark, which is why you need it. To put the service light out on these is really simple. Press that button, turn the ignition on, it counts down from 10 all the way to zero. That's it reset. It's 12,500 miles to its next oil change, but this can be done before then, it'll be done at 10 or once a year.